Hey, my name is Kevin Buckley. I'm from San Francisco, California, and my pitch is for the strange and many eyes of Dr. Lafoe. Um, so basically, the story centers around a man named Roger Lafoe, who is obsessed with seeing his wife again after she dies. So he makes a deal with the demon who gives him that request at cost of his eyes. So the last thing he ever sees is his wife, who he loves, poking out his eyes and blinding him forever. His wife, who he loves, poking out right. his... Right. Okay, so we, we have the blind guy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, so 30 years after that, he's in his 50s, he's a college professor, and he's been amassing this arsenal of magic weapons and different sort of uh, gadgets and things, as well as a series of crystal eyeballs that has, he's fastened to fit into his empty eye sockets that give him different supernatural insights into the world around us. How does one find this stuff? Uh, I'm kind of using it in the uh, old Doctor Strange, Doctor Doom kind of thing where he actually goes on almost kind of a, a quest uh, during that 30 years. And while he, he's blind? Uh, while he's blind, wow. yeah. And he kind of uh, finds all these things in like Tibetan monasteries and different crystals throughout the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, he uses these things to fight monsters and demons and goblins and witches. So and he has these gadgets he has that he can things. shoot and the whole bit. He throws the eyes throws in. Throws the eyes in and he can see, kind of bad guy. see different stuff, see different ghosts, uh, follow footprints, do everything. Hey, Kevin, this art is really cool. We got to see it beforehand. Uh, the way you do the panels and the detail and the action. Was this all you? Uh, that's actually my artist partner. who is, uh, His name is Marcus. So you guys would be the comic runners putting the whole thing right. together. So I'm, I'm the writer and he's the artist. And that's what else do the eyes do or that they uh, Well, one of the powers is he sees um, like the truth behind spoken lies. So he'll actually be able to point to word bubbles and go like, I know what you're saying. I know what you're supposed to be saying. Uh, another of the powers is he can put in the eyes and see every footprint that's ever been in a certain area. So he'll see things from the Jurassic period. So he'll actually see dinosaur now, footprints. Now, is that confusing or it's easy for him to focus? He knows what he's looking for. So he'll be able to actually kind of hone in by kind of screwing the eyes, almost like he's using a camera, and be like, zoo, zoo, and just kind Did of see Did he ever it. accidentally put the wrong eyes in? Uh, he, he, pretty, he has assistants, uh, his graduate assistants kind of help him out. They insert uh, him? So uh, it's like, I see a inserts. demon. There's a demon over there. Bring me my eyes! No, no, no. It's what kind of demon? <laughs> yeah. What kind of demon's over he's, there, uh, right? He's been, he's been trained in all of this, so he knows. Uh, he's, he teaches ancient history and the occult at a college. Okay, and he's, he's in his 50s. He's in his 50s. How so. old are the other protagonists? Uh, his assistants are in their mid-20s. Okay. Um, so he has Edward, who is a, uh, the son of a former assistant of his. So assistants are kind of like spinal trap drummers. They don't, they don't last very long. Um, but the school keeps giving them to him because they're really trying to help him out with his quest to fight evil. So I have a question for sure. you. Uh, would you be amenable on this kind of a story? I'm just kind of thinking of who the audience is, both comics and film or television, for w we need younger protagonists than in the 50s for this kind of show. Yeah. The assistants have 70% and he has 30% with that yeah. kind of... Uh, the the uh, assistants, you have Edward and Christmas, who is the woman, and she is, she's kind of our eyes into the entire world, so she doesn't know anything our about eyes. this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, so she, she doesn't know anything about this whole world of magic and stuff, so we hear about it from and her. And would you, if a studio says they want to do it, but they want Dr. Lafoe to be 20-something, would, um, would you change, do you feel like you could change it and accommodate that? Could the demon have done it? I think it's kind of important because they make sort of a family for each other because they okay. all kind of need uh, Make, each other. So he's almost the father Makes figure. sense. Makes sense. Thank you. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. And great, great. jacket. Thanks. Great. <laughs>